Hello, say Charata. Let's talk about sleep, a topic that we often underestimate, we overlook. We're going to be exploring how sleep is not a simple, a passive process. Actually, sleep is a vital, active process that our bodies, our brains depend on for normal function and overall well-being, overall health. First of all, we're going to be diving on why we sleep, highlighting how sleep is a non-negotiable necessities. It is as essential as food and water. It is during sleep that our bodies undergo repair and restoration, and key functions such as waste clearance and hormone release are taking place. Sleep directly impacts our physical health. We're going to be discovering here the energy conservation and the restorative theories of sleep. We're going to be discussing the role in maintaining a healthy weight and proper insulin function, and we're going to be exploring the significant link between sleep and our immunity, our heart health. And then we will transition to the intriguing connection between sleep and intelligence. We will explain how sleep, through the brain plasticity theory, aids in the neural reorganization, memory consolidation, and the clearing of neural waste. And we will also talk about how sleep influences various aspects of our cognitive function, from learning and problem-solving to creativity and decision-making. And finally, we'll be addressing the interplay between sleep and the emotional well-being. You will learn how sleep can help to regulate our emotions, with a particular focus on how it impacts brain regions like the amygdala, which controls our fear response. You see that sleep is as crucial for our bodies as eating or drinking. You can think about it, every part of your life is influenced by your sleep. How you think, how you talk to people, how you work, everything is connected to your sleep. We spend about a third of our lives asleep and there are good reasons for that. Because when we sleep, our bodies and brains get to work. The brain sorts out new information and gets rid of the waste. Nerve cells basically chat. They rearrange themselves. They are helping the brain to function well. Our body fixes itself, recharges energy, and sends out important molecules like hormones and proteins. Without sleep, our bodies can't do all these essential tasks. So if you don't get enough sleep, it can be harmful. A lack of sleep can leave you feeling down, low on energy, anxious and easily distracted. Plus, you might also become impulsive and reactive, leading you to even eat unhealthy foods. Lack of sleep can even lead to serious health problems like heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and mental health issues. So let's see first, sleep is an active process. Some people have the wrong idea that sleep is a passive process. This is not correct. Sleep is an active period where our brains are busy, they're doing important tasks. Sleep has lots of jobs, and one of them is helping to create and strengthen new memories. If you don't sleep well, you might forget what you learned during the day. Learning new things like a new language, or preparing for a test, or picking up a new hobby, all need good sleep. Of course, you can use the techniques from Intelligence Arat Academy to read faster, read better, Remember perfectly, you can see all the details in arata.sc forward slash intelligence. However, if you don't sleep well, you will have a lot of extra difficulties in your cognitive function. Another important job of sleep is help us to manage our emotions. After a bad night of sleep, you might find it harder to control your feelings. You might feel more stressed and anxious. Parts of your brain that handle all these feelings, they get overreacted, they get overloaded. So how much sleep do you need? Well, if you are an adult, you should aim for at least seven hours. The sweet spot for adults is seven to nine hours. Sleeping less than seven hours or maybe more than nine hours can cause some health problems. So now let's go to the details of how sleep affects your physical health. We'll also look at how sleep impacts your brain your thoughts, your memory, and even your feelings. Sleep helps to save energy, to repair cells, to keep a healthy weight.
There's one theory about how sleep is uh, important to us. That is the energy conservation theory. And this suggests that we sleep to basically save energy. By sleeping, we can lower our metabolism and we can reduce the calories that we need. And there is another theory, the restorative theory, that suggests that sleep is a time for our bodies to repair themselves. And during sleep, our cells have a chance to mend and grow. Several crucial things happen while we sleep, like muscle repair, protein synthesis, hormone release, tissue growth. Sleep also plays a part in managing your weight because it helps to control the hormones that regulate your hunger, namely ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin boosts your appetite. Leptin makes you feel full. You can see more details all about all of that in aratodotesi forward slash leptin in our Not Too Good Project for Weight Loss. So when you sleep, your body needs less energy. Your ghrelin levels will drop. But if you don't get enough of sleep, your ghrelin levels will rise, the leptin levels will drop. And this imbalance will leave you feeling hungrier and can lead you to eat more than you need and have some weight gain. Recent studies show that uh, not getting enough sleep over time can increase your risk of obesity, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and more inflammation and higher cortisol levels. So basically your stress levels go up. That's why in the episode number 322 of the Hello Say Charata series, we were discussing how good sleep is so important to reduce your stress. Insulin, a hormone that helps your cells to turn sugar into energy, also works much better with good sleep. So when you get enough sleep, your cells can use insulin more effectively, and this helps to keep your blood sugar levels in check. Sleep is a key part of a healthy immune system. Not getting enough sleep can weaken your immune response, leaving your body more vulnerable to germs. While you sleep, your body produces proteins called cytokines, and these proteins fight infections and inflammations. Your body also makes more antibodies and immune cells, and all of these will be helping you to prevent sickness by destroying harmful germs. And this is why sleep is especially important when you're sick, when you're stressed. Because during these times, your body needs even more immune cells, even more proteins. Now, let's go back to the most important part, the connection between sleep and your intelligence. For an in-depth lesson and also interactive activities on this topic, you can check out arata.se forward slash intelligence. Sleep is crucial for the reorganization of our neurons and for a well-functioning brain. As you sleep, your brain's glymphatic system, which is a waste clearance mechanism, is working diligently. It's flushing out waste from the central nervous system. And in a very simplified way, this system removes the toxic byproducts that tend to accumulate in your brain throughout the day, thereby ensuring your brain functions effectively when you are awake. Sleep plays a key role in memory function, aiding in the transformation of short-term memories into long-term ones and forgetting or eliminating unneeded information that might otherwise clog up your nervous system. Sleep profoundly impacts numerous aspects of brain functions like learning, memory, problem-solving skills, creativity, decision-making, and focus. In a similar way, sleep is very important for your emotional health. Because during sleep, your brain has more activities in the areas that regulate your emotion. They are supporting a healthy brain function and a emotional stability. The amygdala is a section of the brain that is located in your temporal lobe, and the amygdala manages the fear response. This regulates your reaction when you're faced to a uh, when you're faced with a perceived threat or a stressful situation. And when you have adequate sleep, the amygdala can respond in a more adaptive manner. However, if you are sleep-deprived, the amygdala is more likely to overreact. The research also shows a very interesting relationship between sleep and mental health. Disturbances in sleep can lead to the advancement, the onset of mental health issues. And these mental health issues can, in turn, contribute to even more sleep disturbances. So for all these reasons, sleep has a fundamental role in your health 
and in the function of your brain. Sleep is an active, essential process for our bodies, for our minds. Sleep repairs our bodies, it aids in controlling our weight, enhances our immune system. Sleep also is very important in maintaining your brain health, helping to have your memory consolidation, to optimize your cognitive function and even regulate your emotions. So basically, good sleep is very important to our overall health, our mental clarity and our emotional balance. And you can use the power of good sleep combined with fast learning techniques so your brain will perform at its best. It's very simple. You can start right now visiting arata.se forward slash intelligence.